So this is Monday, May 11th, and I'm going to go over all your math for the week, and you can decide when you want to do it. Um, but I sent you this little poem, and the first page I sent you just showed you a big quarter, and it showed you what it was worth and what it was called, and a nickel. Remember, quarter's worth 25, a nickel's five, penny is worth one cent, and a dime is worth ten. So you are going to cut these out and put them by the correct line. Okay, it says, penny, penny, easily spent, copper brown, and worth one cent. So you find the penny, cut it out, glue it there. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat, worth five cents. I know that. So find your nickel. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember that you're worth ten. And the last one, quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I'm told. Okay, so you'll cut that out and you'll glue them in the correct spot. Okay. Then I gave you these. And I also gave you some money. That if it helps you to actually have the money in your hand to help you count, then you can. Okay, so this is a dime. We're going to do the first one together. And then after that, I'm going to see how you do. Okay, we have a dime. Now, do you remember what a dime's worth? It says dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Leave this sheet handy to look at if you need help. Okay, so we're going to count by tens. You've got 10, 20, 30. So that is 30 cents, and because it has a dollar sign, you need to put a point in front of it, or it'll look like $30. Okay? Here you have a quarter. Do you remember what a quarter's worth? It's worth 25. And then you're going to grab a nickel. Remember, a nickel's worth five, so you've got 25, and now count by fives. 25, 30, and then a penny is 36. Or 31. Good grief. Okay. See, I already made a mistake. And then you got two quarters. Remember when we would count our quarters at opening for how many days of school and we got to over four quarters because we were over 100 days? So we said one quarter is 25, two, two quarters is 50. So two quarters is 50 cents. And then, wait, this is a nickel. Don't forget to look at this if you forget. And also the, the other paper I gave you that showed you the value. So you've got five, and then pennies are worth one. So you've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look how you need to write nine. Or you can write nine cents. Okay. Or you can write 50 cents, or you can write 30 cents, or you can write 31 cents instead of putting a point in front of it. Okay, let's look at the next page. Okay, you have three nickels. I always like you to take the biggest coin and start with that. So, or the one that's worth the most. So the nickel's worth more than the penny. We're gonna count by fives because the nickel's worth five. Five, 10, 15, and one more, 16. So you could write 16 cents. Number six, you have a quarter, it's worth the most, so it's at 25. And just picture your 120 chart. Remember when you add 10, you go straight down. So you're at 25 and you add 10, 35. 45, 55, so 55 cents, okay? Here, your biggest coin, can you see this one okay? Okay, let's get it over there. Okay, you've got 10, 20, because the dime's worth more, 10, 20, 21, 22 cents. And then number eight, Paper straightened out. Start with your quarter. It's your biggest coin. It's worth the most. It's 25. Then you're going to jump to your nickel, which is worth five. So 25 and five is 30. 
and then you've got 1, 31, and 32. So 32 cents. Okay? So that's your first page. You've got two more front and back pages that I want you to try to finish this week. Okay? If you have trouble, let me know, and I'll make videos going over these last two pages with you. Okay? All right. You guys have a great week.